Hey guys, welcome back. So, today I've decided to make a trade. Now, when I made my, um, oh, gee whiz, what do you call that thing? Abalone shell, um, which you haven't seen yet, but you will soon. Uh, when I made my abalone shell mold, I had a bunch of um, silicone uh, left in weird shapes. So what I did is I started breaking them down into smaller shapes so I can use them as, you know, awful uh, in my other molds that I make, like I do. And I got this really cool pattern in these pieces. I mean, look at that. That just looks really cool. That one looks sort of mountainous to me. And this one looks like a leaf. So I'm going to use this <laughs> in a mold and see how it turns out. Um, so this is just one of my oval uh, trinket tray molds um, that I think I got from Timu or BB Craft or one of the two. And I'm just going to spray it real quick uh, just with some 99% isopropyl. And I have three ounces of my clear... Uh, one to one resin that uh, I did run through the uh, bubble remover, but it just has those little residual bubbles that float up to the top. So just blow this off with a tiny torch. And the resin is actually clear, that's just old, um, old resin that I had at the bottom of my cup because I reused my cups. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in. Listen to me channeling my inner Bob Ross. Okay, anywho, um, I am going to take this silicone and I'm just going to lightly spray it. Again, bubble mitigation. Um, and then just gently drop it in. Now it is a little heavy, but it's not super heavy. So I'm expecting it to sink down a little bit, but not completely drop like a stone. Uh, but if it does, okay, fix it. It's the beauty of it. We can fix it. Um, however, I do want to scooch it down a little bit more in the corner. Scooch, 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 scooch. So uh, just sort of an offset effect. Now it's going to move around. I'm fine with that. Um, like I said, it's going to be what it wants to be. So, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cure, and I will see you guys for our next steps. See you then. Alright, so it's had a little bit of time to settle. You'll see over here, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more to it, so I did. Um, just a couple of little extra niblets of uh, silicone and I mean we're literally making this with silicone scrap I mean, there is not a set mold in this whole thing I mean it's scrap so what you see over here is what I have is just a little bit of uh, color changing glitter it's uh, little fall colors it's oranges and golds and greens and things along those lines. So this one looks like dirt, sparkly dirt, but it's pretty, in my opinion. So I'm just going to take some and around everywhere it's going to fall as I gently sprinkle as the neighbor dogs absolutely drive me insane. You know, but still slightly noticeable because I don't want it big, huge, you know, 
Glitter! I just want glitter. You know? You guys know I'm not really a glittery person. Sometimes I can be, but most times I just... I like that uh, subtleness that you can get without being totally ostentatious about things. So, anyway, that's all I'm doing. I just wanted to let you know. Fun and excitement all rolled into one. <laughs> Subtle glitter. See you soon. Alright, it's time. Let's get these little silicone guys out of here. And just pop right out, don't they? Look at that. And the reason I chose these particular ones is because I thought they, they looked the most leaf-like. <laughs> most leafy uh, in shaped. So, let's come right on out. Get out our tiny ones first. And then the big guy here. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that. That looks very cool. And it's matte, obviously, because, you know, it's leaf. But at any rate, um, what I'm going to do now is I have some uh, iridescent film that is sort of orangey, browny, grainy, you know, colored. Uh, and I'm just going to cut that up into little random shapes here. A little piece cut in there, but I'm not worried about it. It's just go in and put in a tiny layer of resin into our tennis spots. Alright, so now that we've got all that done, I'm just going to let that do its thing, and uh, I will see you guys for next steps. See you then. Yep, forgot to hit record again. So I added in some of the um, orange, gold, yellow, beauty uh mica flakes that I was sent from Mrs. Lisa Crow. And I am put those around the perimeter, and then around the blue parts, I'm going to add some of my uh, Snow Queen blue alcohol ink that I made, just in the middle here. And, yeah, it's not the cap, right? That's your earbud. Nah. Ah, uh, oldness. All right. So now that we've got that, I'm just going to go in and give that a bit of a swirl. Not a heavy swirl, just a little bit, sort of make it look a little paisley. Because I'm going to be putting a darker background on this, so it'll show up really well, I hope. So anyway, that was the next step. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so this is our back coat. It is one ounce of my one-to-one -one resin. Uh, I put a little bit of brown uh, mic powder and then just the teeny tiniest amount of black because I want it dark, but I don't want it black because I don't really think black would go with the theme here that we've got. Uh, the fall colors and whatnot. So I want dark, but not black. So we're going with dark brown. All right. Okay. We got a hair along for the ride. Look at that. Well, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Hare, but uh, you're not invited. Thank you for playing. Have a nice day. All right, so we're just going to let that do its thing. Cure up, and I will see you guys for the demold. See you then. Good morning. It's time to demold. Let's see the shiny new brown, which I really like. So let's demold this. Let's see what we got with our silicone scrap inlays and shiny things. Mold looks good. All right. Ready? Me too. I got some cleanup to do around the edges, but that's normal. Uh, especially with the spool as I made it accidentally. So, anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. So the inlays did give a little bit of a pattern. I think if I would have made it clear, you could see it. Yeah, you could see it a lot better. But I'm really, really happy with it, nonetheless. I think it looks really neat. I love those flakes and the iridescent film. Really turned out cool. Got some bubbles. Who cares? I really like that. It's just different, you know? It's just, it's not, I don't know, it's just really cool. I like it. Let me mess with the camera settings here a little bit. Yeah. It's just a really cool little... really awesome, neat thing. I like it. It's different. It's unusual. It's just very neat. I like it. So anyway, experiment. Very neat. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> I like it. I think it's quite cool. It's different. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.